To find the oxidation numbers for each element in PbCO3 that's led to carbonate, we'll use these rules in a periodic table. When you see CO3, you should be thinking that it's the carbonate ion. The carbonate ion, it's a polyatomic ion, and it has a charge of 2 minus. That would mean that the lead would need a charge of 2 plus, and in this case, charge and oxidation number, they overlap. So we'll say the oxidation number for Pb is plus 2. We don't know what the carbon is, but we do know oxygen is always minus 2, with a few exceptions. So each oxygen is going to be minus 2. So to figure out this carbon in PbCO3, we could write an equation. We could say plus 2 plus the oxidation number for carbon, which we don't know, plus minus 2. That's the oxidation number for oxygen, and we have three of them. So we need to multiply that by 3. That will equal 0, because in a neutral compound, that's a compound without a big plus or minus out here, oxidation numbers will all add up to 0. So we have 2 plus some number minus 6 equals 0. 2 plus 4 will give us 6 minus 6. That's 0. So the oxidation number on the carbon is plus 4. So to recap, we used the information we knew about the carbonate ion to find the oxidation number on the lead. And then we use these rules where we see oxygen's minus 2 to figure out the oxidation number of the carbon in PbCO3. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for lead 2 carbonate. Thanks for watching.